Yo, what's up and what's going on guys? It's your Michael Yoyo, Bamba Yo on the channel and today I'm going to be showcasing or testing a bow that was claimed to be the best bow in the game currently because of its ability. Its ability. So I guess a lot of guys already seen this bow and what it can do, but I'm gonna test it out myself and see if it's actually that good. So without further ado, let's get straight right into it. Okay, so I guess a lot of you guys already know what I'm gonna showcase here, which is the scorpion bow right here. Okay, so people are saying that Grand is the best reforge for this thing, so I put Grand reforge on it because for this item you need strength more than critical chance and critical damage. They're useless for this bow ability. Okay, so basically how you get this bow is it is in Tarantula Tree. I'm pretty sure if you go to recipe book here is a request as you can see here this thing requires spider level 3 which means that it's unlocked at level 3 which is very easy but the recipe is kind of expensive which is like 48 tarantula silk which you need like 96 stacks of tarantula web and 24 stacks of enchanted flint so that's quite expensive there and then a stack of enchanted emerald and then 32 enchanted gold which is actually quite expensive in total so i put like all the enchantment we need so they're saying that infinity quiver and piercing are broken for this bow so it's better to not get those enchantment on it just in case so i didn't get them so far it's working for me i tested it already but i'm gonna do a live test later so if you look at the item ability here it's called stinger and it slows the enemy which doesn't really matter and deals 35 times of your strength as damage per second for six seconds so basically this damage isn't like normal damage once you shoot him it would do like a normal damage for this bow which is pretty low but then it would do like extra damage for six seconds and those damage are like 35 times of your strength which is quite insane though, if you calculate that so this ability is the key why this bow is so op for dragons as well as other bosses who take bow damage so this is why this bow is currently rated as the best bow in the game so i'm gonna test this bow on dragon see how much damage i can do but first thing first i heard that it's better if you reforge all your talisman to forceful so i'm gonna test that out here so i'm gonna reforge all my common one because they're easy Easier to reforge back to Ichi because I'm pretty sure Ichi is still better for general use. But just for dragon, if you wanna make a good combination with this bow, then you need forceful. So I would reforge some of them to forceful. And also, you might notice that I don't have hot pitted books on this thing, so it's like I haven't unlocked the full potential of this item. So I'm sorry about that. I just got it today, so yeah, I just wanna test it out. One hour later. Okay, so I reforged all the common I have. Basically, all these are extra because I already have a full accessory bag right here. So I'm gonna keep them at Ichi because they're very expensive to reforge. So like I said, I haven't unlocked the full potential of this bow. So I probably won't do as much damage as other people who showcase this bow. But like, I just wanna get an idea of how much this bow can potentially do. Even without its full potential, like hot potato books and stuff like that. I'll be using the Y set which gives me a lot of mana. And also the ability of the Y set basically, all the ability costs 50% less mana. So that's exactly what. I want it. and also I reforged the whole thing to very wise so that I get extra mana for this thing so I have a total of almost 750 mana which is very good for this thing we're gonna do here I'll be testing it out on a dragon and hopefully I can do as much damage and get top damage here okay it's starting it's starting so I already have all pots potted so right now we're just gonna stay here and then I'm possibly gonna okay unstable not too bad oh my god why am I so high up holy crap that hurts okay so the thing with this thing is basically, okay, I'm gonna do one thing. I'm gonna press this and just open the hitbox there. And okay. So basically, the idea is you need to hit him every 6 seconds to... It's the best for this bow. So once you hit him with the bow, just wait for a few seconds to recharge your mana as well as not waste your ability. Because I'm pretty sure that doesn't stack. So after you hit him, I'm pretty sure you just uh, switch your sword because for extra strength, I'm pretty sure that works. And that'll be better. You'll do more damage eventually. At least that's what I noticed. It works, I guess. So he's that hit him and we shoot him again. That works too. And switch my sword. I'm doing like 40k, 20 something k each hit. Every second, so that's like very good. Oh, he ditched that. And we're just gonna shoot him. Okay. It's working, and then after that I'm gonna shoot him again. Okay, so as you can see, I got post number one. Even though I missed like a lot of shots and 
see what we got here. We got a chest plate. Okay, that's very nice. Fair enough, first place and chest plate. So as you can see, it's pretty much a guarantee first place if you do it right. I miss a lot of shots, that's why, and I'm still new to this bar. I just got it a few hours ago and been testing it out on a few dragon fights only. So this is probably my third fight with this bow. And also this thing only have dragon hunter too, so it's not too impressive here. Okay, so overall this bow is very good. It's just me, the user, who is not good because I miss a lot of shots. But if you do it right, this thing can actually deal a lot of damage to the dragon. So yeah, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace out and have a nice day.